friends, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video lecture, we are going to talk about JNU entrance examination. So, if you aspire to be a JNU uh, student and if you want to go for an undergraduate course or a postgraduate course or a PhD in JNU, then this video is just for you. Because here I will be talking about what is JNU entrance examination, what are the steps of this examination, when the forms come out, when the interview will continue and how much fees required for the forms and the rest of the exam scheme details that will definitely help you to prepare for this exam. So stay tuned and watch the video. Okay, so we are talking about the summary of JNU undergraduate and postgraduate entrance examination which is also known as JNU EE, JNU entrance examination. So what are the properties of this exam? Uh, why you choose this exam to get admission uh, in JNU for undergraduate and postgraduate courses. Application release normally from month July and remember in this case uh, after Corona uh, the time limit and the month is little bit shifted from the original so always check that. Exam month here in, uh, this time in September interview will be in the April or May. Now normally if it's in the September exam month then interview will be afterwards October or November but normally it used to uh, the exam used to be conducted on March so the interview goes uh, on April and May. Eligibility minimum aggregate score of 55% and above in your last qualifying exam that can be plus 2 for UG courses and uh, you like 55% in your undergraduate for PG courses. Age limit as per UG age limit rule. Application fees uh, in a detailed sense for general EWS and OBC categories uh, that is 1500 rupees plus transaction charges whatever it is. And for SCST candidates it's 1200 rupees plus transaction charge as per applicable. So it's only 300 rupees difference. For PWD candidates there is nil that means there is no application fee charge for PWD candidates. So again the fees. So the fees as I say as I mentioned earlier for so these two were for the UG and PG courses undergraduate and postgraduate courses but you may ask like I already told you that this exam is not only for UG and PG and admission but also in PhD admission in JNU for PhD candidates there are different rules PhD, MTech, MPH, MA, MSc, MC and all these things you can see the category for applying in the course there are multiple courses you can apply in this university you can apply to one to three courses if you apply for one course for general OBC and EWS the price will be 530 uh, for SCST 310 and uh, BPL that is below poverty line that is 110 if you are applying for two subjects you will get a discount and it will be 800 that means 400 for each and if you apply for three subjects it will be 1000 rupees so number of subject increases it's a good scheme because uh, they always know that you are going to ultimately end up in only one particular stream so they are going to get the rest of the money and for BA honors first year BSc MSc integrated program and all part time programs uh, for one application one course application is 400 for general two course 575 and three course 750 SCST OBC and the rest of the details are provided I'm not going to read it for you but you can take a screenshot of this page so that you get to know about the details now what is the scheme of the exam which is really really important the mode of the exam is a LAN based that is CBT computer based exam type of the questions will be multiple choice questions duration will be three hours number of question approximately 100 here and the marks per question will be one for each correct answer so 100 marks all total there is no negative marking for incorrect responses and the paper will be in the English language only okay but if you choose any language courses like any other Hindi uh, Marathi Gujarati any other language in that case the question paper will be on that language apart from that general sense the paper will be in English. So that's the overall summary of JNU entrance examination. Alright, so that's all about the JNU entrance examination or JNU EE test. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more career related videos in future. Thank you.